Hey there, buddy, and welcome back to Auctions Not Included. Thank you for the amazing feedback on the new colony. I'm glad you guys are looking forward to a new colony. I wasn't sure how everyone was going to feel about it, but it seems like you guys are just as, as excited as I am, and I have a plan. So I've been looking at the achievements, and so we actually earned another achievement here. We've actually got the outdoor renovations now. And so we have to think about a couple of different things here. Carnivore, Locavore, and Super Sustainable. These are our three time-gated achievements. We have to eat 400,000 kilocalories of critter meat before the 100 cycle, have to consume 400,000 kilocalories of food without planting any seeds in planter boxes, farm tiles, or hydroponic farms. This one's gonna be tough. And then super sustainable. Generate 240,000 kilojoules of power without using coal, natural gas, petrol, or wood generators. We can do this, and I know I kept saying, hey, coal generators, coal generators. We're, yeah, I'm glad some of you said that in the comment section because I was about to put some coal generators down. So we're going to have to rely on a SPOM, and if you don't know what a SPOM is, I believe it is a self-powered oxygen generator. No, not that, not what I just said. I don't exact, exactly know what it is, but I know it's self-powered oxygen something. Um, so that's going to involve using hydrogen generators, and I kind of I kind of know how to do it. I, I've been watching videos and trying to understand, and it's probably going to take me a couple of uh, jump cuts for you guys to uh, see me not mess this up, but... A couple different things I want to correct, and this is going to be a little bit of a planning phase at the beginning. I need to fix this. We need to make our critter ranchers go further over a couple of tiles. And also, I want to go ahead and get a nature reserve going. We need at least four in this playthrough, but I want to go and get one for you guys so that uh, the dupes are having a good morale boost. And then some of you mentioned, hey, if you put a potted plant here, you can have a great, great hall, which we want to do that as well, because the morale is going to be very important for you guys to work and uh if we look at a couple of different things nature reserve we need a park sign four wild plants no industrial machinery and it has to be a minimum of 32 and a maximum of 120. And i'll show you my plan for this in a minute and then for our great hall mess table which we have no industrial machinery which we have minimum size is 32 and maximum is 120 which we do have this is a smaller one we'll have to expand it later but then we also need a fancy de decor item and a recreational building, which we can do a uh, we could do a um, what's it called? A uh, water cooler. That one. All right. Brain not working, but brain will work, hopefully. So let's go ahead and go ahead and enact some of my plan here. So right here, I'm going to make this the dupe living quarters, this section right here. And I'll show you one good reason why we have a lot of natural plants right here. We have four to be exact. We have buried milk root, and I believe that counts as a plant. I, I'm hoping it does. It could can be harvested for single food serving decor. Uh, genetic ooze. Let's see, is that right? Because we, because these, I know bristle blossoms and all these are. Um, Aaron's. I believe that it is technically a plant. It is a edible plant. Yes, it's good. So we're gonna leave these here. And the idea is we're gonna have to probably scoot this ladder over just right here, and then go up. We can leave these. Honestly, I could uproot one of these if I wanted to, but just in case, I'm gonna leave it there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a ladder go up. And then we're going to have this two wide. And this is going to technically count as a room. This is going to be like a little park area for the dupes. And then we'll seal off this area. So I'm going to have to take this ladder out and put a door there. And then I'll put that and seal this here. And I'm also going to go ahead and seal this room out as well. And I know some of you mentioned, hey, you know, you don't. Airflow tiles cost a good bit of resources, and they do. Luckily, we have a lot of copper ore, so I feel okay about putting some airflow tiles here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for right now. But what I'm going to do is for the moment until we can find out a better park situation, we're actually going to close this off. And every time the dupes come through this area and we have barracks right here and here, they're going to be smaller barracks, but that's fine. We can work with it. Um, we may even have one right here and they only exit this way and come down. But this should be enough tiles for us to put a sealed off area for this to be a nature reserve technically. So that's my plan. We're going to go ahead and enact it. So let's go ahead and get the time. I'm going to slow down just a tad because we are behind on critter ranching. We need to get critter ranching going as quickly as possible. And we need to get critters um, from the pod as much as we can. So I'm probably done getting some of our dupes for right now. But let's go ahead and add these pneumatic doors here. And I need to fix the critter ranchers as soon as I can as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at our stations. And we have our grooming station. We have our critter drop off. We need a feeder. So let's get a critter feeder in here. And then we also want a storage. So I'm going to cancel this guy. And then copy it. And I'll set the critter drop offs. Actually, let's do. I'm going to cancel this one as well. Copy it. We'll say the critter feeder is here. And then we'll put the critter drop off here. And then we will do critter pickup ensures the prompt locate relocation of critters to exceed the maximum amount set. Oh, okay, cool. Um, we may have to use that at some point. 
And then I want to get a storage box for our critters here. All right, no one's idle, which is, oh, that is not right. What in the world? What is going on there? Why is that floating? Uh, we also need to get some of our storage setup as well. So that's going to be our my critter setup right there. And I thought there was a way for me to do blueprints. I could be wrong. Uh, OK, I'll just do this. Do this again like I have been doing it. Oh, blueprint. Hang on. Uh, select more blueprints in the supply closet. Oh, no, this is our skins. OK, not what I thought it was. That's fine. All right, so let's go and get this other one set up. We're going to have two going right now. Also, I do apologize if you hear some noise in the background. Minna is playing with a toy in my office. She has been sick this week and she's feeling a little bit better today, which we me and Danzy are very happy about. We had a very stressful uh, start of the week with her being sick, um, but she's doing good. We had to make an emergency vet, visit to the vet. vet. Like I said, she is doing better. Thank goodness. Okay, let's see here. I'm ter I just need to do this. Copy. There we go. I don't, I don't I don't know why I'm doing this the hard way. Also, I'm sure there's just easy keys for me to do this. Yeah, beat. There we go. Boom. Critter drop off. All right. There's our critter ranches. We do need to replace the tiles in here, though, because hatches like to bury themselves. So I'm going to go ahead and set up to at least do that. And we want to go all the way to more tiles back and dig that out. And that should be good. We should be able to keep natural there. And then all the way back here. And then I want to make sure I measure this out properly again. OK, we've got 96 tiles right there. So we want the wall to be right here. And then we can say, hey, dig this out for us. So we do have some hatch. We do need a Wrangler. Um, I need to be careful right here, though. We have a lot of carbon dioxide in this pocket, but I do want to get this morale bonus as, as soon as I can. So let's go and get this pneumatic door in here. That way, airflow still falls down. This is not a great solution at the moment, but it is a it is my solution. Um, and I do. Like I said, I just want to be able to get um, at least a basic barracks going for you guys. And that way we're uh, we're getting that giant morale boost for us to get skills and so on and so forth. All right. So we probably need to, do need to look at a carbon skimmer, which means I need to probably get a carbon skimmer water uh, sieve. Um, we don't have any oxiferns down here, and I've heard oxiferns aren't that great. Um, but so we probably need to look at getting a carbon skimmer set up somewhere down here. You could say that I could use this as a nature reserve right here. And I probably but the, the thing is, there's a lot of copper right here. So we're, we're having to give up some of our natural ore in order to do nature reserve, which I don't think is worth doing. So we're going to try to avoid that as much as we can. OK, so how's our oxygen generation going? Let's let's see how we're doing. Temperatures. OK, we have a hot spot over here. We need to be careful of it's going to get warm. Um, we are digging up here and we'll have our nature reserve. I do need to research nature reserves, though. So let's look at our research real quick. So we got our critter ranching. We're happy with that. We're, we do need to get this as soon as possible as well. We're not using the farming part of it. And there's our park sign. So I think I might grab that as soon as I can. And then we're going to go for probably our gases. We're probably going to go for air systems. Um, we want to get this electrolyzer as soon as possible. If we're I mean, we do have plenty of algae. We might be OK to hold off from the spawn. Right? We have algae. Let's take a look at our algae real quick. Uh, resources, I want to look at algae. OK, so we have 26 tons. Yeah, we're OK with algae for the moment. Um, we just need to keep an eye on it. I'm going to say keep that on um, my bar here. I, I don't want polluted dirt. Can I not have that? Uh, OK, that's just a new item, so we'll clear new. There we go. And I didn't use this as much in my previous playthrough, and I probably should have, but uh, we want to keep an eye on our breathability. We want to keep our kilocalories. Let's keep a look at actually that should be OK. Uh, we will update our bathrooms eventually, but not at the moment. We want to focus on other things uh, and get those done. Also, I just forgot that I didn't select research. So let's do that. Agriculture and then we'll go down for our gases. Actually, ooh, wait, no, never mind. Not gases. Maybe due, due to refinement. Hmm. Air systems wouldn't be bad and we would get plumbing. I think we might go ahead and do this afterwards and then we may go for sanitation and I learned how to do a infinite sanitation loop. So I'm going to work on getting that set up as well. Uh, we did get our airflow, which is good. And we got our decontamination because we are going to want to set up a water sieve carbon skimmer set up and probably put our industrial zone down below right now and kind of looking at it. I want to try to keep this asteroid as natural as possible, if that makes sense. Uh, this is kind of like, you know, we're kind of keeping with nature on this one by not industrializing with coal power plants initially, you know, for the first hundred cycles. Um, but we're also ranching and uh, not farming either. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about what we should do for this initial colony. Should we kind of 
like make natural tunnels and not bore out everything, not do a gigantic um, just carve of the, uh, the asteroid. Or should we just go ahead and carve the asteroid out and go for there? You guys let me know down below for the, you know, sake of engagement. OK, so we are behind on our ranches, so I'm going to go ahead and say, hey, can we get this done? This is like uh, I, I want this to be priority if we can. Um, we want to get our ranches done. We want to get our hatches in here. So let's go ahead and get those set up. I don't think I need to have. I've seen some people do the ranch setup to where the hatches are just kind of stuck behind here. So it's easier to grab them in the grooming station. I don't think I'm going to do that, um, but I don't know. We, we might consider it. I think I'm going to put incubators in here. May make uh, actually we're going to probably keep dorms up here. I'm going to have smaller dormitories and just kind of spread them out there. I know it's kind of a inefficient use of space, but I don't know. I want to I try to do something different with a colony, you know? Um, I've, I've looked at a bunch of tutorials and gameplays and, you know, there seems to be a certain way things can be done and I don't necessarily want to do them one for one, if that makes sense. So I don't know, let's go ahead and get that done, get our hatches in here, start uh, ranching them and uh, yeah, we'll move from there. And we want to get stone hatches too, eventually. Um, stone hatches, I believe, produce coal and stuff like that, but we don't need coal right now. I know. Stay away from the coal generator. But, you know, I think they maybe produce more meat. I could be wrong. Let's actually take a look at that. So if we look at stone hatch. Uh, ooh, we don't. Ah, oh, we can't see stone hatch. So let's look at a hatch. Uh, hatch. Here we go. So lifespan space required meat. It produces 32,000 kilocalories of meat. Uh, is that right? No, not 32,000. 3,200 kilocalories of meat. And then we have the variations of the hatch, which I don't know if we can take a look at. Oh, my goodness. There's a ton. Okay, there's the sage hatch. We're not looking for that. OK, here we go. Stone hatch. No, okay, 3,200 kilocalories is the same, but we still want stone hatches. They are decent. So you guys are working on that. Very good. And I'm going to go ahead and, and for the sake of morale, I'm going to say this is going to be a priority six, and we can get that done. I'm not going to open up. The, I don't think we'll open up these tiles just yet. Uh, Yeah, we won't open up these just yet. We'll leave that as is, because this will technically be a singular room right here. And that'll be our nature reserve. Let's put a six on that as well. And then this ladder is kind of wonky, but it's it's fine. We'll leave it. I'm not worried about it. I know in the last episode, I probably I probably seemed like, man, this guy is he's he's pretty. Oh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I can't I, I can't think right now, but yeah, maybe like like things a certain way, uh, you know, symmetrical stuff like that. But I do want to try to make, like I said, kind of make like a little pockets of a colony. You know, don't absolutely bore this this colony, uh, this asteroid out. But I don't you guys let me know. Uh, we also have a steam vent down here. It's going to get hot. It's going to spread through. And so we got to be careful. We got to insulate this. So I think I might tame this sooner rather than later. We will just put a box around it an insulated box. And then maybe we could have our water because this is fresh water for us. I mean, if we look at this fresh water, no germs. We have some, you know, we have some uh, floral scent right here. But I mean, this thing, this thing could be good for us and we need to get it as soon as we can. This is a really good geyser to have. We just need to find a way to cool it down. So looking around. Uh, we need something cold and we don't have something cold right now. And this is a smaller asteroid. We need to explore it and find out like exactly what we have. So we may explore this way and see what we can find. Uh, we'll have to dig through the hatches, the hatch ranch, um, or honestly, we could dig through here and uh, start going this way. And I think I might do that, actually. So let's go ahead and set up jobs to bore through this area. Ooh, we actually be careful on that. We don't want to make that. Ha Ooh, we also need to fill that in that is a problem. So let's get rid of that. And then I'm going to go ahead and set up the dig jobs for this so that someone can start working on getting through here. That way we can start exploring the asteroid just a tad bit more. Uh, so we got some ore we can see here. Let's go up like that. Uh, I think I'm am I doing that right. Yeah, they can climb up too. So it's good there. Um, I'll make ladders if I need to. Let's go ahead and get let's actually line up with this thing right here. Let's line up with this door. I'm going to be careful about carving out the abyssal light, though, because we don't want to uh, miss up any thermals that may come with it. So let's go ahead and get a ladder up to here and let's get a ladder up to there. There we go. Good. All right. So we got some. Ooh, actually, there's some abyssal light right there, which we can't get through yet. So let's careful about boring that out and let's go down one there. Uh, You guys can't go through there, so we'll do that. Excellent. All right, cool. That'll keep our ranch farms intact. Uh, ranch farms? Did I say ranch farms? Hatch farms. I don't know. 
my brain, my, like I said, my brain has been an utter kind of mess this week. Uh, like I said, with the, the Midna, it's kind of been our first stressful incident with Midna. So both of us have kind of lost a little bit of sleep and uh, it hadn't been it hadn't been great, but she's gotten better and we're feeling a little better. But, you know, this first time we've had to give her medicine and yeah, it's just it's been stressful for us, uh, for us all at the uh, at the Stapes household. So but we're all doing good. All right, so you guys are boring that. Let's speed up time a little bit. We are kind of late on getting ranch, uh, hatch ranching started. That's okay. Uh, for what I need to feed these guys, though, let's take a look. What would be best to feed our hatches? I think what we want to do is we want to feed them sedimentary rock because I think we either want to do sedimentary or igneous. So whatever we have the most of, because we do want stone hatches eventually, and we want to produce stone hatches. Um, we do want normal hatches as well, but let's go ahead and take a look at our sedimentary rock and our um, igneous. So sedimentary, we have about 400 kg, which is not a lot. So let's keep that on there and let's look at igneous. I igneous? Oh, we haven't discovered igneous. Oh, OK. So we have dirt, we have granite, sand. Ooh, we may not have. We have sandstone, sand, dirt. Yeah, this biome may not be providing us with that at all. We have some sedimentary. We have fertilizer here. We have granite. We can't dig through that yet. Granite. Ign OK, there's some igneous right here. Wait, I don't believe that we haven't dug some of this out. Did I just type igneous wrong? Did I do a dumb? No, I didn't do a dumb. We we definitely we definitely I definitely spelled that right. OK, let's take a look. Maybe. Uh, Ig me. No. OK, so we haven't dug out any Indian rock, so we're actually we don't have a lot to feed them. Yeah, we don't have a lot to feed them, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to dig out some of that. And then I think I might go up here and get some of this igneous rock as well. Uh, we do have the digging required for that. But yeah, we need to figure out what to feed these guys, unfortunately. Because we want them to be stone hatches. So we have sedimentary rock. Um, I guess we'll feed them sedimentary rock for right now. I mean, I hate I hate to do that, but. Uh, let's go ahead and put our other raw minerals in there. OK, that's what we'll do for right now. Uh, then we'll kind of switch that over because, well, we're not have, we don't have a lot here. We'll have to dig out some of this. Like I said, I'm not I'm maybe like for the initial colony, we'll try to have like, you know, some things here and there. But I don't, I just I really don't want to absolutely destroy this asteroid. OK, so you guys are going to work on that. We'll get some stuff there. Um, that's good. And I know there's a trick that we can do for like at least kind of hollowing things out as much as possible. Oh, we have bomb lilies, too. I think these are good for something. I would have to figure it out, though. I right, see so you guys are still working on that. Um, we are good on power. Hitch is re uh, Danzy is researching for us. Kevin's doing good. Kevin's not dead. Very good. Also, you guys cracked me up. Uh, I guess we've watched or you guys have watched some of the content with Kevin and it's it, Kevin. We appreciate you. And uh, it's it's it, I, I like it. I find it funny that Kevin has become like, hey, when's Kevin going to die? When's the next time Kevin's going to die? Uh, it's uh, it's all good fun. I love it. Uh, Kevin. You're going to you're going to you're going to go far, buddy. You're going to go far. OK, so one thing I've learned about you guys is that your construction not great. It's yeah, it's not construction's actually pretty bad for you guys. I'm um, not sure why. No, nope, not shine bugs, uh, but we definitely need to get some construction going on, at least skill wise, uh, because it's not great. Uh, we do want, though, we want to make sure that we put the sedimentary rock in here. So hatch and hatchlings, uh, we want that sedimentary rock. Very good. And that's what's going to go in there for now. We may have to switch that to igneous at some point, um, but we just don't have a lot of what a stone hatch likes to eat. So, like, you know, if we look at that, let's take a look at uh, can we take a look at what it takes to convert them over? Uh, da, da, da. Smooth hatches, enjoy burrow. I thought there was a way for us to look at what do we look at? I need to look at the basic hatch. That's that. That's the morph. OK. Crowded room has 12 cells, meat, that's good. Stone hatch, let's get the stone hatch. Okay. Critters lifespan, crowded winter room, blah, blah, blah. 
Diet Cemetery. Obs we could do. We have we have a lot of granite, um, but I know granite is used for some other things. We don't want to feed them any ores. Uh, we could turn them into smooth hatches, and we do need smooth hatches at some point. Um, so we may have to start farming our smooth hatches at some point as well. So we may have like a, just a massive hatch farm over here. And I may, I'll probably move all of this. Uh, yeah, actually, this is going to be moved and be more uh, ranches as well right here. I have to get rid of some of this abyssal light, but that's okay. We'll we'll be fine there. I need to keep an eye on this and make sure we don't overheat. But okay, yeah. So we're getting this done. Uh, we do need, unfortunately, a house out of a stable. Okay, we're still making that. We do need a rancher, so we may need to look at that. Let me take a look at y'all's skills real quick. Um, duplicate skills. So Dirk Souls. Oh, perfect. Dirk Souls is our rancher. So Dirk Souls, once he gets a little more of that, he'll be our rancher. Um, Evan. Ooh, actually, Evan, you didn't I, you didn't get your hat. How dare I not do that? All right. So once we get your skills up, we'll be in a much better situation. But let's see. If, let's just see what's in our package here. Nothing. OK, well, we don't we have some shiny nymph eggs, but we can't really eat them. So I'm going to ignore that. Wow. At plus 13 husbandry. And this will be good for our ranching. We might do one more. Nice stinky. Uh, but you have decreased husbandry and agriculture. And cuisine. OK, um, not exactly the best. We have a scientist and a, we have construction. We have excavation strength. And we have, wow, you have tidying and supplying. Dang, that's good. Decorator, green thumb. I think we'll just focus. We, we're going to need another rancher. We are, but this one, this one, he has plus 13. This is a minus three, which is still 10. That's still good. Um, yeah, we might take Stinky for another ranching. We may need to focus on our ranchers for a little bit. We do need someone with construction, but there's no construction. Well, no, we have this one. We have a May. Uh, I think I think I'm going to go with the Stinky. I think we're going to get ranching because we're ranching is going to be important. It is. So welcome to Colony Stinky. This one is going to be Ecord. Naming after one of my mods. All right. So, Ecord, welcome to Colony. This is going to be our last one for a while. I know I'm going to say that, but we have to be careful with our oxygen and all that. So let's go ahead and get another barracks dug out here. Actually, let's go ahead and expand this one just a tad. And then we'll put Ecord a bed here. Uh, let's see, where is our beds at? I'll one day get used to this UI. may not be today, but it will be someday. Uh, and I do want to get this done, so let's up that to a priority of six. And hopefully Ecord will have a bed by the end of the day. If he doesn't... Oh, these are stuck in here. Hmm, okay. Uh, okay, lacking ranching skill, that's fine. We'll get this done. I want to actually set that to a priority. I want to set that to priority six as well, just so we're having that focused on. There we go. Oh, we also have an achievement here. Let's see what we got. Oh, outdoor renovations, that one I told you guys about. All right, cool. Well, we're making some progress. Ooh, and you guys are digging out the nature reserve. Oh, so close, and then we could put the park sign down. Actually, can we go and put the park sign down? Have you researched that yet? How are we doing our research? What is the research? What are y'all doing with this? Oh, no, we're we're a little behind on research. OK, that's fine. We'll get there. Ecord, buddy, I, we don't need you standing around. We need some jobs for you. Let's take a look at our priorities here. All right. So Dirk Souls, he will be ranching. That is his important job. He will ranch when he is able to ranch. Um, operating for Hostile Buffalo. So Hostile Buffalo will help us out with power. Uh, Ecord, you will focus on ranching as well if you can. Otherwise, uh, we can set you to decorate. Actually, I'm going to say that as a kind of a neutral. Uh, we want everyone to construct if they can. So building. I'm going to say for Kevin, if he's not digging out, he's going to build. Same with Ecord. If he's not ranching, he'll build. Uh, if Hostile Buffalo isn't doing that, she will build. So I think that'll be okay right now. I don't think I really need to focus on priorities. Everyone needs to help with something. But for right now, that's good for me. We need to get that set up. Minda is now in my desk, sitting in front of my monitor. Very difficult to record you doing that, Minda, but I still love you nonetheless. Oh, good. We got Ecord's bed built in time. Glad you got a place to sleep there, bud. I am going to switch Ecord to a different schedule, though, just so we have uh, three dupes on each schedule. So Ecord, welcome to the night shift. Or not, because I can't click. Ecord, get on the night shift. There we go. All right, cool. All right, so you guys are about done with this. I think I'm going to cancel this one right here and keep two tiles. Um, but this is going to drop a bunch of CO2. Luckily, it's going to flow down. It's going to be kind of 
tough to breathe all this in, but you guys will be, you, know, you guys will be fine. I, I, I have faith. I'm going to put an airflow towel here just so airflow is easy to come through around in this area. But once we get this done, we we'll have our park sign researched. Uh, ooh, actually, that's something we need to say for Danzy. She should be researching at all times. So what is she doing at the moment? Where's Danzy at? She's tidying. Why is her? Oh, no. OK, she had to produce the water. OK, that's good. Oh, OK. Missing water again. Interesting. OK, she's getting the water done. OK, I think we're good. All right, she's doing research. Hopefully that skill will go up. We have insufficient oxygen generation. So, yeah, we are. What is my cat doing? Hang on. Ah, uh, pet ownership. She was trying to get behind the monitors and chew cables. Uh, good old, good old fun stuff. All right. Anyway, so this oxygen, uh, this uh, carbon dioxide is now dropping. If we look at this, this is a room. This is a 79 tiles, which is fine. I think we could do that. Um, it has five plants, so we should be good on that. So all we now need is for Daisy to finish research and we'll get our nature reserve. Uh, we are good on the critter research. We just need Dirk Souls to level up. Uh, how are we doing duplicate skill wise? Ecord. Oh, yeah, you come with a free point. Uh, let's get you to ranching as soon as possible. We desperately need that. Um, it would have been nice if we had a rancher initially, like, start off with that skill, but we'll work with it. Uh, let's look at hatch, and we want the hatch to do sedimentary rock, so let's do that. All that. Uh, let's see. How are we doing on Ignis? So we have... Oh, we actually have no sedimentary rock, so never mind. Um, we want igneous here. We have a little bit of igneous now, so let's go ahead and set that up. And we want igneous here. And I need to remember to take off the sedimentary. So let's actually do this. I need to use these tools that the game gives me. So we'll take that. Then we copy settings. Apply it there. Boom. Oh my god, he's learning. And we're going to do the same thing for the... Um, do the same thing for this one down here. So let's get the igneous rock as well. Igneous. There we go. Stone hatch. Oh, wait. No, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Uh, did they already put sedimentary rock in here? Something's in here. I don't know what it is. Uh, copy settings. And put that there. All right, cool. I think we're only doing igneous rock. So I assume so. Yep. All right. Good. All right. So what I want to do is I want to get some. Um, I want to get some auto dispensers so I can actually start cleaning up a lot of our area because that is a detriment to our morale. So we want to get that fixed as well. So I'm going to work on that ceiling collapse. Oh, geez. Who died? OK, now we're good. OK. Kevin has got himself stuck again. So once again, everyone go help Kevin. Please help him. Kevin, buddy, can are you? Oh, you don't have any resources. OK, someone needs to go help him. All right. Uh, well, I'm glad I caught this because Kevin would have probably suffocated to death eventually or used the bathroom or something. But you guys are going to go get that. Dirk Souls is on his way to rescue. And I'm just going to go and say, hey, fill these down here just in case someone gets stuck. All right. Kevin's free. Good. You guys don't you don't you don't have to say that's priority. We just say that's a six right now. There you go. All right. No one worry about that. Uh, Kevin. All right, so this is still not a full-fledged ranch because we don't have that block built. So I'm going to say nine for that block, please. And Danzy is almost done. Danzy, what are you doing? You're getting more water. Man, there would be awesome if we could, like, pipe this thing and make it liquid-cooled. I mean, it is kind of liquid-cooled already, but I think it's just because our skill's down. And if we look at their morale, let's take a look at our... Let's take a look at our decor over overlay. Not great. Not pretty. No. Uh, we do want to go ahead and replace some of this, I think. Well, granted, we need to be careful digging up our mealwood. It's our own, our wild growing plants here are our only way to get food. We have auto harvesting here. So I think these bristle blossoms we can actually use as well. All right, so let's set those up to harvest. I think yeah, those are bristle blossoms as well, except illumination. There's not enough light. So they're not growing. Mealwood is probably the best thing we can find. We do have a dust cap in here. Minna is getting behind my computer again, so hopefully nothing happens during the recording. Dancy completed this research. She's happy. She's clapping. And you guys mentioned, hey, that's why they're happy and clapping. So, yeah, good job, dupes. So let's go ahead. We may want to get some light, but I know I said I was going to do something else first. We need automation at some point. Um, I do want to get. I think we're still OK here. Probably need to go and research this first and foremost, but I do want to go ahead and sweep up because that'll help our decor. 
So this is going to take a while. So just in case I need to do this in emergency, I'm going to air systems first and then we can set up that. We'll have to have like some kind of hydrogen pit of some sort set up because we'll probably get a like a really basic spawn set up. And I've, I've learned how to kind of use them. Um, so hopefully, hopefully I will do it right. Uh, we are charging these batteries. Let's see. Yeah, OK, this is good. Uh, we do need a better power source at some point, which is another reason why we'll use hydrogen. Um, but I don't know if I'll get that set up this episode or not. Like I said, we want to get our ranching set up as soon as possible. Oh, we can also place our nature reserve sign down. So let's do that. Uh, that is a park sign. And we can say, hey, this is a park. Right there. Uh, actually, can I put can I, how many tiles? I could probably dig out some more tiles here and put like a park sign. Uh, so, like, you know, this is like the entrance. Technically, these dupes, this is their home. Um. Uh, it's fine. I don't need to worry about I don't need to worry about the logistics of it too much. So let's put that down. I think that was furniture park sign. This is our park right here. I hate the fact that I have to use a door like this, but that's the only way you can kind of close off an area for that to happen. And I can just say that's a park right there. And I want to get that built now because every time the dupes leave their home, this is what this is. They walk through this and it's it. You know, they immediately get that bonus, which is awesome. Another tip that I learned by watching a ton of videos. And it's it's amazing. The community support in this game for it just how how uh, how there are many educational resources there are for this game in terms of people playing it and yeah i love it when there's just a giant community of people playing a, a game and you can i mean it, and it's it, this game is it's not it's not a new game it's like it's fairly it's a fairly older game but the, the amount of support that it gets over time is just crazy to me and uh, clay clay clee uh however you pronounce the developer's name they're constantly doing updates for it, um, so and providing DLCs, and that's I don't know, that's awesome. All right, so I think, please tell me that Dirk Souls is almost close leveling up. We, oh no, he's not. We really need to start ranching. We're getting behind on our uh, ranching there. Uh, we do have our liquid pipes. We have our oxygen carbon skimmer deodorizer. We're still good there. We have our carbon dioxide sink. We have a slight one right here, but we'll probably bore this out at some point. We just don't want to get rid of our meal wood. Um, because it is kind of what's keeping us alive at the moment. Uh, we are at 28,000 kilocalories. You guys are only eating meal ice at the moment, so we could probably get something a little bit better. We could probably get some pickled meal. Um, that would probably be good. So let's go ahead and get a like a basic kitchen set up as well. So let's get that um, going. Uh, we have our box here. We can go ahead and set up a basic refrigerator if we want. So I might do that. We'll take kind of kill this this ration box. Uh, we'll destroy it. And then we'll put a fridge in here instead so that we can actually keep things cold. Uh, so we'll have that job set up. I'm going to slow down time while we do this because I don't want to go too fast. And let's also go ahead and get we'll get a micro musher as a last resort. Uh, so let's get a micro musher in here. Let's get a electric grill in here. And then right here, we'll put the fridge once that's gone. And then let's go ahead and set up some doors uh, so we can actually get uh, this as a room. So we'll get tiles there. Dandy's eating and we'll turn this into a grand hall as well. Uh, you guys mentioned I should probably do this. We have a great uh, we have a mess hall right now, but we can turn this into a grand hall by just getting some fancy decor items. I don't think I have those yet, but once we get those, we'll set those up. Uh, I also want to get rid of these guys. Uh, we need to get some lights going. So we'll probably get, you know, some motion sensors and some lights in here. Uh, they just don't take a lot of power and we shouldn't have to worry about that. Uh, we don't have a compost yet. I don't know where we're putting polluted dirt at. Uh, where is most of our polluted dirt, actually? Uh, can we look at that? You're new. I would like to look at polluted dirt. Uh, polluted dirt. We have 20, uh, 2,904 uh, kilograms, and I think it's all in this one spot, is it? So what I could do is actually put it there, because I don't think we have any germs on it, ironically. I can't tell if that's germs or not. Polluted dirt. No, it is. It is germs. OK. So I know some of you have said, hey, you don't really need to worry about germs in your water supply. And. We just got to make sure dupes don't get in it as often, I think. We could put a wash basin for them to wash their hands, but I, I don't know how polluted dirt in a container works underwater. Oh, you know, let's just do it for science. If we pollute it somehow, we pollute it somehow. So storage bin. Because the reason why I've learned that we do this is because it can't off gas. 
um, it can't produce polluted oxygen. So we can say, hey, this thing's only for polluted dirt. I'm going to put that as a six. All right, so you guys will attack that. Once again, we're still missing the skills for our ranching. We'll get there hopefully at some point. All right, Danzy is going to bed. Hostile Buffalo is already in bed. Put their hat down. And once we get our auto sweepers, we'll clean all this mess up and put that in a certain spot. Kevin and Ecord are digging at the moment. There's no oxygen here. Um, hopefully that all flows. It's going to flow into this like tiny pit right there, unfortunately, because we can't dig up this igni uh, this absolite. That's OK. We got plenty of copper at least to go around. Oh, and look at this. We have our nature reserve, our first one. Morale bonus. Look at that. Morale plus six when they exit their bedroom. Oh, that's so nice. Uh, so now we want to go ahead and get this cleaned up. Uh, all of our sweeping area get. Ooh, we don't have any power. OK. Uh, hopefully someone gets on that because we are des in desperate need of that. We need to make these sure these are priority sixes if we can. Uh, this one's not even done, so that would be nice to get. And also, we probably should just go ahead and put a large battery. We need to get power systems going. Yeah, we need to get smart batteries and um, the, probably the hydrogen generator going. That probably would be nice. Uh, also, I wanted this to deconstruct if possible as soon as you can. OK, so our air systems are now complete. So we now have this as a backup and now we can start working towards uh, the smart storage. So I can go and get these uh, automatic dispensers. That's going to be nice. And then we'll also get uh, brute force refinement so we can start working on refinement as well. So let's go and get working on that. Um, I will say that I have discovered that we probably need to get this thimble read as soon as possible so we can get Atmo suits. Um, we can go ahead and grow this. And also, I've learned a kind of a trick, and we probably want to find another one if we can. But there's a way for you to kind of make this. We're going to eventually want to make a system here that um, flows a bit better for our uh, our plumbing. Uh, you can actually kind of use some of your overflow um, polluted water for the thimble read. So. We'll probably look at that if we can find one more seed somewhere, which I'm not seeing, unfortunately. Um, we are exploring this way a little bit more. We actually can see here we have some of our unique thing. We have the Biobot Builder. OK, I have never seen this before. So what is this story trait? Biobot Builder. My duplicate has discovered a laboratory full of dusty machinery. The vestiges of another colony's experiments, perhaps. It's unclear whether the op apparatus is intended for biological experimentation or advanced microtronics or both. So we have an office plant and whatever this is for, we don't know. There's something off gassing, though, for sure. I think this is just polluted water. Ooh, but we do want to dig up here. We do have some um, meal wood we can dig up. So let's go ahead and get that. Let's go and just set a ladder to go there and they can auto collect that when possible. Uh, this is not a very breathable area. Um, we don't have a lot. of. We have some oxygen slipping through here, but it's not very breathable at all. But we do have a cold biome up here. So there is that going for us. It's actually very cold, which would be nice. Have to look at that. OK, one other thing that I realized that we need to work on is we actually need to go ahead and start setting up insulated tiles on this side, which we don't have them yet. We really need to think about it because this heat is starting to surround us and we need to be careful with it, especially up here. We've kind of gotten closer to it. Um, we need to insulate our base as much as we can. So we're probably going to set up some insulation. I need to figure out where kind of the edges of our base are going to be. But we yeah, we got to be careful with this because he is going to be our main enemy, so we need to look at the research. Also, starvation. We have plenty of kil kilocalories, so you, you should eat. Someone should eat. We have plenty to go around. All right, so smart storage. We're getting that going. Danzy's working on that. She finished the brute force refinement. We need to look where our insulated tiles are. Where are they? Let's type it in. Insulated tiles. Uh, if I spell insulated right, that would probably help. Uh, insulated drywall, textile loom, insulated gas pipe, insulated tile. So yeah, it's up here and it's a uh, temperature modulation. So we'll need to get that. Um, so I'm actually, well, we'll be OK right now. I want her to finish her other job, which I just messed up. Get, get rid of that because uh, she's already working on it. So let's go and get that. Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Hmm. What is the insulated? What does the insulated tile require? OK, that requires that science as well. So that's fine. We can go and work on this, too. All right, not worried about it. Dirt Souls, have you leveled up there, bud? OK, that would be nice. We would we would like to level up if we can, if if at all possible. You know, no rush or anything, not like the colonies, you know, relying on these hat. Well, not relying, but I, you know, for my achievement, you know, Hunter Self, I want those achievements. All right, so now we have that's we need more batteries as well. This is honestly, honestly, it's just that second wheel. Um, they try. They I mean, they charge them up fast. Dirt Souls is also doing research. He should not be doing that, should he? Does he have actually anything in researching? Uh, let's 
take a look. I don't think he does. No, he doesn't. Okay, Dirk Souls, you, you don't need to be doing this. Don't don't research. Danzy is the only one that should be researching. Uh, priorities. Dirk Souls, no researching. Danzy needs to be focusing on it. Where is my research? There it is. No one should be researching except Danzy. Danzy's top priority is research. I mean, I guess if no one else is available, then I guess we'll have Dirk Souls do it. But Danzy needs to be focusing on that if she's available or is she. Okay, you guys are using the bathroom. Dirk Souls is researching. Where's Danzy? I mean, I guess she's asleep now, so Dirk Souls will do it in the meantime, but really need Danzy to work on that. All right, cycle 11 is uh, is about to be done. Uh, we haven't made a ton of progress, unfortunately, because we don't have the skills needed for Dark Souls at the moment. Uh, okay, you guys are building out this water tank. Actually, I may not do this. I think this is big enough for us. Um, granted, we've already kind of built out part of it, but then I think about it, may not want to do that. We have a four tile system here, so we can actually have a room here, um, but I do want to insulate this tank if possible so i'm gonna cancel this out and we'll have insulated tiles going across here uh, so we'll cancel these two and i'll actually deconstruct these two but i'll kind of keep this tank the way it is uh we could put some insulated tiles here and we're gonna have to do something with this chlorine and natural gas uh hydrogen gas but we'll figure that out as we get to it i made a mistake um hopefully our carbon sink right here isn't gonna break but i forgot when you put wire here it breaks tiles so I'm hoping this is still going to be okay. Oh, actually, we don't no, 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 cancel that. We don't want that there. That's fine there. Um, but I'm hoping this is still okay. I hope this is still kind of... Uh, let's, let's let's just check real quick. Um, so the reason why I put this in here, because supposedly it's supposed to be in a sterile environment, and I, I think it is. Um, it, it looks like it should be. If it's not, then it's okay. It's refrigerated at least. But primary element um, in here is carbon dioxide. It says unbreathable in here, so I'm assuming it is fine. So we'll leave that as is. Uh, yeah, I did realize that I probably had probably missed this up a little bit, but that's okay. You know, we're still not farming, and you know, we're not ranching yet because you know no one's leveling up. But that's okay. We're not worried at all. Or we'll we'll get this figured out hopefully. Like I said, I would really love to do the all the achievements, but you know, if we don't, that's okay too. We, you know, we at least tried, and it's just a lesson learned for maybe a next series that we do. Uh, because, you know, this game is still going to have updates and everything, so I might return to it. Uh, this will probably be my last playthrough for a little bit. Also, you guys are idle. That's not good. No one needs to be idle. Uh, Danzy needs to finish this up so we can get sweep jobs going. And also, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare for us to get this, uh, this working. So, the problem is with this is that I can't plant anything. I can't put any planter boxes. So, we can't really necessarily use the idea I want to do for the thimble reed. So, yeah, I'm going to have to figure out what to do with our excess polluted water, which we don't really have a polluted water tank. Do we need one? Um, you know, it's arguable, but we can probably put one down here or something. We'll, we'll figure it out. Maybe we can have like water systems or something, but we need to be careful because we're also going to have carbon dioxide and probably a bunch of heat down here. So I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. Oh, something monumentous happened. We actually have a skill point for a dupe and it's Danzy and I'm going to give her field researching because the more research, the better. And Dirk Souls, he can ranch. Oh my goodness, we made it. Okay, so we have ranching. Uh, improved, uh, actually, you know, get that ranch hat on there. There you go, bud. And then we have field research for Danzy. You guys get your new hats. Congrats. And then we also have a printing pod, so let's get that going as soon as we can. But first off, I want the hatches to be wrangled. Dirk Souls, buddy, get to work. Wrangle, wrangle all those hatches. I, I can't even, can, is there a wrangle command down here? Yes, get all the creatures in this tile right there. Um, we also need to keep an eye out here. There could be hatches in these spots right here. Um, I don't... Do we have any other hatches anywhere? It'd be nice to find as many as we can. Um, we might be able to find them in these tiles. So we need to dig out any of these spots if possible and see if we can find any hatches. We don't want to dig up there. Uh, I don't think we'd find any hatches there. I could be wrong. Uh, we also have these jobs set up. I don't... Oh, you can't reach that because I told you not to dig this out. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, dig out that way. Do that one. And we also probably can dig out this area too, so I might, might as well put some tiles here. Just do that. There we go. Looks good. But like I said, I don't want to break this up because that will uh, break our park. All right, so look how happy Dark Souls is. He's got his ranching hat. All right, go get him, buddy. All right, so we have a confetti suit. I don't know if I need that or not. 
Uh, we have husbandry and medicine again. Uh, we have a Liam here. Uh, it gains a morning attribute bonus, which would be good. We don't have a morning attribute bonus. Uh, they also get increased cuisine, which is not bad, and decreased germ resistance, which honestly is not bad either. Uh, we have strength, piloting, and strength for supplying and tidying. We don't have a supplier or a tidier, uh, which would help. And converts radiation into exposure into calories. That could be decent. Um, this Both of these are really good. Otto and Liam are honestly very good, in my opinion. We could use a supplier and a tidier. Um, but I think... It's kind of hard to say because the morning attribute bonus would be decent, but I think I'm going to go with this auto. I think having a supplier and tidier for when we get those done would be nice. Um, and he can go around and kind of clean up and do all that as we need to. Granted, I don't know if it's worth kind of focusing on just someone like that. Hmm. And he's a vomiter, too. Oh, both of them are vomiters. That's okay. Super productive and balloon artist. Um... We don't need another ranger right now, so let's go with Otto. Let's do that. So Otto, you are going to be Hitch. Welcome to Colony Hitch. Okay, very good. Print. Okay, so we have Hitch. Now let's go ahead and look at our priorities and see what Hitch will do. Hitch will supply and store if he can. Uh, after that, he can do kind of anything. Oh, and tidy. So supply, store, and tidy. After that, uh, once again, no research for him. We only want uh, Dirk Souls probably to and Danzy to focus on it, but ideally Danzy will be the one focusing on researching. Okay, so Dirk both is wrangling for us. He's wrangling up how many hatches in this slot? Two hatches. All right, not bad. We okay? Wait, is that three? Did he bag three of them? Oh, we also need to get this cleaned up before it starts eating all this. Ooh, right. Do we have our auto sweepers yet? I don't think we do. I think Danzy's still working on it. She is still working on it, unfortunately. Okay, but now that she has the upgraded skill, it should be fine. But we want to move this as soon as possible so the hatches aren't going crazy and eating it all. Uh, Otto is... Uh, not Otto. Um, Kevin's actually digging... Ooh, we have some Weez Wards for cooling. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so this could be good up here. It's melting, it looks like. I'm hoping this biome just kind of stays the way it is. We have some sweet sleet wheats. I don't really know what those do. have to look that up. Okay, very good. All right, cool. Well, let's let them do their thing, and I will be back. Okay, Daisy has completed the research for the storage bins, so now we're going to go for the insulated tiles because we do need to work on our insulation. Uh, if we don't work on that soon, we're going to be overheated. Uh, we can already see the heat is traveling through the air, and it, now that it's kind of reached here, uh, we could be in trouble. Uh, so we need to go ahead and get that fixed out, especially up here. We need to be careful exposing these areas like this. I'm about to expose this just because of the mealwood. Granted, this mealwood's probably not going to survive, so it's probably not worth it. So I'm actually going to keep that closed off. Uh, but yeah, I need to get insulated tiles because this is not good. We're, we're going to need to fill this out almost ASAP. But I did get our uh, automatic dispensers. So let's go ahead and get them set up. Let's put one here and let's put one here. And this is oh, actually, I don't. Is that fine? Yeah, it's fine. We can have two separate piles. That's OK. Um, but we're going to have, you know, we're going to have kind of two gigantic piles of whatnot. And uh, I may have separate. I may decide to put things. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how we want to do. We can have like one for the other and so on and so forth. But they don't need to be powered. We just want sweep only. And I think we want to say all, but we don't want polluted dirt for sure. And we'll have to fix this when we find other things. But we put the, those there. Um, seeds. I can put like natural stuff on the other side if I want to. Um, we have like one for natural, one for filtration mediums and cultivatable soil and all that fun stuff. Fun stuff. We don't want eggs being stored here. Um, we'll keep those in a separate spot. Coal is fine. Agriculture. So let's say, let's say this one will be, uh, this one will be non-natural stuff. So we'll have that organic. Let's kill that. Metal ore. That's fine with me. We'll have all our metal ore here. Cultivatable soil, organics, and then seeds. Uh, we'll go into the other one. And this one will be the other other stuff. So sweep only jobs. I'm going to go ahead and just do a massive sweet job. And hopefully we will see a lot of our base cleaned up. Uh, well, it was Kevin. He's not dead yet. Keyword is yet. So we can easily fix this by, you know, just, hey, Kevin, dig yourself out, bud. You can do it. Yeah, I got the suffocating message and... Uh, I, 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 I wanted to believe it was someone else, but I got over here and it was Kevin. So, you know, Kevin, I still believe in you. You can do it. Just don't do that again. All right. So we have this set up now. Um, 
we'll get these natural things here. So agriculture, critter eggs, once again, not putting that there. Cultivatable soil, um, as seeds, that's good. And organics, um, I think that's good for what we need there, except no polluted dirt. All right, cool. So we have our sweep jobs going and you guys will start cleaning that up and we'll have a cleaner base now. So that is looking good to me. We now have this set up so we can say, hey, any any pickled meal, let's make that. So pickled meal forever. Don't eat. So, you know, if we have meal lice, which we don't, that's OK. We have tons of muck roots, at least. But if we do have meal lice, go ahead and cons uh, make it into pickled meal. So no one eats meal lice for right now. And uh, we'll have our cook do that. Uh, we don't need to make any mush bars right now. We're at 16,000 kilocalories. That's OK. Uh, we do want to go ahead and start getting our ranching going. Uh, which we do. We have our hatches now. Dirt cells wrangled them up and they actually have sedimentary uh, rock, uh, rock in here. We actually have igneous rock, I think. Uh, yeah, so we have igneous rock. We have 2000 kg of igneous rock. We need a little bit more. But that's OK. We'll you know, we'll get there. Uh, but we do want to probably pull some of this cool, uh, cool air into the base at some point. Um, once Danzy finishes up the insulation, we're going to do a massive insulation project over here. And I need to be careful with this abyssal light because we can't carve that out yet. Um, that's kind of a problem for us. And also, this is kind of annoying, but, you know, we'll we'll work with it. We have like, some rogue gases here, uh, but I'll probably maybe even cut it off here. Um, this may be best. If we just cut it off right here and go down. It's a little tight in our base, but that's OK. We'll you know, we'll make it work. Uh, we do have some polluted dirt right here. Uh, we want all polluted dirt to go in here if possible. And I think I forgot to put polluted dirt in there, so we'll say polluted dirt. And then we'll just once again set up some sweep jobs and get those done. So everybody sweep now. Everybody sweep. All right, cool. Uh, we want to set that up too. very good. We didn't find any more hatches, unfortunately. Uh, there could be some more in these spots. We could dig those out if we really wanted to. But I need to, like I said, we need to be careful about heat and digging out too much uh, because gas is going to transfer our heat a little bit faster uh, than actually. Yeah, ga ga gas transfers heat faster than the water, I believe, I think. Am I, am I sciencing wrong? Ooh, also, I forgot to set this up. Oh, man, and we have too much water in here, too. So we'll need to get our water systems going next time. Uh, but I want to get plumbing and I want to say bottle emptier. And this was, you know, this is the reason why I probably was going to say, hey, we need to make a bigger, deeper well. Um, oh, this thing can't be on here either. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, we can just put it. Hang on. We can, you know, copy that and put it right here. We don't need a door here for right now. And even if we do want a door, it's fine right there. And we'll cancel that. All right, looking good. OK. So we have our auto sweepers going. Uh, we need to go ahead and set up some beautification down here. We don't have any planter boxes. I don't not planter boxes, but the uh, pots. Can we use the pots? That's a good question. Let's slow down time just a little bit. Let's let things run just so you guys can do your jobs. Um, and probably construction location. OK, I think that's already building lacks resources. That's fine. We have mealwood. Mealwood's growing. We have some night. We have 19,000 kilocalories, which I think will survive. OK, um, let's take a look at our colony summary. OK, so what was I even going in here for? I just I, I don't know. I came in here for something. Don't remember. Uh, 400,000 kilocalories of meat. Uh, yeah, here we go. Planting any seeds in planter boxes, farm tiles are or larger barn farms. So we can use the pots, which would be good. I don't think I have it researched yet because we're working on our insulation, but I think we want to set up a carbon skimmer down here. I th I'm probably going to have this as like an industrial area, but I at least want to get our basic carbon. Uh, carbon, I guess not the leader, um, but, you know, our carbon system going, I'll probably carve out this area right here and this will be down here where we keep that uh, just because. That's where a lot of heat's coming from, and it's going to be a hot area anyway. We'll probably have to have some suits. Uh, but you can see here that the gas it, it's starting to heat up this gas right here. Um, it's going to slow down once it hits this, but once again, we'll have to have some insulated tile. So honestly, probably insulate this area right here. And we'll probably just go ahead and keep our, um, our carbon skimmer down here. So we'll probably build that there. And that is where we can use some of our polluted water for the water seed. We just need to get the system going and start. Uh, so we'll have this set up as is. So let's go ahead and get. I don't think we have our water. I don't think we have a water sieve yet. Yeah. So we'll get a car. We'll get at least our base. Like you know, this thing started, and then we can work on it. Okay. So we have this pitcher pump. We are going to say liquid water, and 
And this is going to be, I think there's a setting I can get for this, isn't there? Status, I thought there was a setting I could set for this guy. I could be wrong. Ah, here we go. Uh, it took me a while to find, but this is for the um, the bottle emptier and it's the uh, auto bottle. So they'll automatically put you know water in here. We may not need to do, actually, hang on, disable that. Yeah, now that I think about it, we don't have a, enough water being used. So we'll need to get some of our water going, which means I think next time we're gonna work on our first like minor spawn. Uh, I think we're gonna set that up and get that going. We're good on oxygen right now, but you know, go ahead and preemptively uh, get that done. We have plenty of algae, honestly, to use, but maybe we can use it for something else. Uh, we can distill it and I don't know. I don't know what we can do with algae. We have plenty of it, so maybe we don't need to work on our spawn, but we need to use our water too. And I would like to get this water out of the way if possible. I don't know, we'll figure something out. But guys, that is gonna cover it for this episode of Oni. I know a ton didn't happen, but it's a lot of preemptive, you know, setup for some other things that we're trying to do. We have a ton of sweep jobs. You guys are clean this up. We're cycle 14 and we're kind of going with our ranch or hatch ranches. It's, you know, it, this is going to be this is going to be tough. The, 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 this achievement for carnivore is going to be extremely tough. Um, I'm hoping we can get it done. I'm going to try my best, but we're, they're going to lay eggs. Uh, we're going to, you know, get them groomed. Uh, their wildness is going down, thankfully. Um, but, you know. We got that done. Uh, we got our nature reserve, so we have that going. We have our new room. We have our room over overlay that's looking pretty good. We have this kind of just massive miscellaneous room here that you know don't know what to do with. But everyone's got room rooms. We have morale bonuses going. We have this nice uh, reserve right here. We'll set up some new rooms for new dupes as we go. But uh, Danger just completed research, so we now have our insulated tiles, and so we'll work on that next episode as well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just just so I don't forget for the next episode, I'm going to select that uh, so that I know. Oh, actually, we completed that. So let's see. Our next research will be let's get the refined renovations. Let's go ahead and get fire pole so you guys can get up and down the base a little bit faster. But like I said, that's the end of this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Any as always, any tips and tricks are greatly appreciated. You guys seem to uh, enjoy these series, so I really do appreciate your support on it. As always, uh, if you guys can hit those lovely engagement buttons down there, and if you have any feedback uh, for engagement as well, that would help too. But hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you, as always, for spending some of your time here, and I shall see you in the next episode for Auction Not Included. Bye, everybody.